Guys, for all the solutions of this book, visit forthesakeofeducation.com. I've been working hard of putting all the problems into one convenient place for you to be able to do your homework easily. So pay us a visit. All right, guys, now we're going to do this problem that says replace the force system by an equivalent resultant force and couple moment around point O, which is located right here. Take calf is equal to this Cartesian vector. So basically, the first thing we're going to find is the resultant force, which is the sum of all the forces, which is F1 plus F2 plus F3. So F1 is equal to negative 300k, F2 is equal to 200j, and F3 is equal to this Cartesian vector, which is negative 200i plus 500j minus 300k. And all of this is in newtons. So when you add them all together, you get that the sum of the forces, which is the resultant force, is equal to negative 200i plus 700j minus 600k, all this is in newtons. And this is the resultant force. Now let's find the sum of the moments around point O, and that is equal to R1 cross F1, R1 being this vector right here, plus R2 cross F2, R2 is this vector right here, plus R3 cross F3, R3 being this vector right here. So, we don't have R1, R2, and R3, so let's find it. R1 is equal to 0 on the i, plus 2 on the j, plus 0 on the k. R2 is equal to 1.5 in the i, plus 3.5 in the j, plus 0 in the k. And R3 is equal to 1.5 in the i, plus 2 in the j, plus 0 in the k. So now we need to find the cross products. This cross product this cross product and this cross product and that will give you three Cartesian vectors that you can add together to find the resultant moment. So R1 cross F1, you draw your matrix I, J, K, R1, and now you do F, which is 0, 0, and negative 300. Love matrices with lots of zeros, make them easy. You rewrite the first and second column. You do your positive diagonals and your negative diagonals. Now, the first positive diagonal is minus 600i. Second is zero, third is zero. First negative diagonal is zero, second is zero, and third one is zero as well. So. This is the first, um, the first Cartesian vector. Second one is I, J, K. R2 is 1.5, 3.5, and 0. And F2 is 0, 200 on the J, and 0. I'm going to go a little faster. Positive diagonals, negative diagonals. Now, first one's 0, second one's 0, and the third one is 300K. 
for the negative diagonals, the first one's zero, second one's zero, and third one is zero. So that is the second Cartesian vector. Now I'm running out of space here, so let me just add a new page. Still getting used to this new setup, but it makes for much better handwriting. So I know you guys have been complaining, so I'm trying to get better. R3 cross S3. So R3 is 1.5, 2, and 0. And F3 is negative 200, 500, and negative 300. I, J, 1.5, 2 minus 200 and 500. Positive diagonals, negative diagonals. This is equal to, that's negative 600 in the I. In the I, that's an I, I swear. Second one's zero. Third one is 750 in the K. Notice how I like to leave a space for the J when, when you're doing complicated matrices. This is a good habit, I recommend it. Now negative diagonals, this is minus 200 times 2 is minus 400, but it's a negative diagonal, so it's 400 in the K. Second one, 0. And third one is minus 300 times 1.5, that is 450, but it's negative, so that makes it a positive 450, right? So you add them all up and you get 600 in the I plus 450 in the K and this is plus 1150, sorry this is the K and this is the J. Let me make sure I didn't make no mistake here. Minus 300, yeah, this seems fine. So this is our third Cartesian vector. So the sum of the moments, R and point no, should be equal to minus 1200 in the I, minus 450 in the J, plus 1450 in the K which it's basically you get by adding this this and this uh, this is positive final answer for the sum of the moments and final answer for the resultant force.